Ryan Edwards has amazed fans of Teen Mom with his healthy development as the troubled star celebrated Easter with his family, who he has been separated from for a long time. Beginning in 2023, the star of Teen Mom has been incarcerated on a variety of offenses, including harassment, driving under the influence, and possession of a controlled drug. She has been released from prison on many occasions. Machi Bookout, Ryan's ex-girlfriend, who is also the mother of his son Bentley, who is 15 years old, just uploaded a new family photo on her Instagram account. He grinned as he was surrounded by his new girlfriend, Amanda Connor, on one side, while Bentley, Mati, and Massey's new husband, Taylor McKinney, stood on the other side. The 36-year-old guy was surrounded by his new girlfriend. The shot was accompanied with a caption that simply said, Easter shenanigans. In addition to that, she used the hashtag hashtag thinks that matter. Fans expressed their admiration for Ryan's forward-thinking actions in the comments section of the post. The words, Ryan looks really healthy, were spoken by one individual, while another one added, this makes my heart full. Never thought I'd see the day, said a third person about the incident. I am so proud of you, Ryan, chimed in a fourth person. And I love how you all are co-parenting now. And a fifth individual made the observation, Ryan appears to be in a much better mood. You did a great job, Maffy, you never gave up on him, you never stopped holding him responsible, and it was successful. Well done, the girly, I am overjoyed for you all. RHYN's difficulties. For the several offenses that he piled up over the course of the previous year, Ryan was first given a sentence of 11 months and 29 days at the Silverdale Detention Center in April. On July 18, he was freed from jail and immediately enrolled at Cata's Rehab in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in order to finish a program that lasted for a total of 28 days. Following the completion of the 28-day treatment program, Ryan was subsequently ordered to move into the Oasis halfway home which is located on the same site as his rehabilitation facility Cata's, at a court hearing that took place on Monday, August 14. Amanda Connor, a single mother whom he had met while he was in rehabilitation, became his girlfriend there. This information was originally provided to the United States Sun by a person close to Amanda, who said that she is notorious in Chattanooga, Tennessee, due to her reputation as a bad girl. The insider said that Amanda is a source of problems. Since the time when she was old enough to be arrested, she has been in and out of the system on several occasions. It is not a positive impact that she has on Ryan, proceeding with a divorce. On top of that, Ryan is still fighting his other ex-girlfriend, Mackenzie, and is attempting to get a divorce from her that is final. Following their marriage in 2017, Mackenzie, who is now 28 years old, submitted a petition for divorce from her husband, Ryan, on February 28, 2023. In an earlier article, the United States Sun said that the divorce was officially dismissed on February 19, 2024, due to the fact that there had been no filings in the case for 270 days. Ryan has now filed his own divorce lawsuit against his estranged wife, according to the United States Sun, which can publish this information exclusively. Divorce with minor child was the petition that Ryan submitted on March 6, according to a court docket in Tennessee that was accessed by the United States Sun. Additionally, he submitted a finalized proposal for a parenting plan. C-O-M-P-L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S in Parenting In an interview with the Daily Mail in July 2023, Massey said that she had a difficult time maintaining her connection with Taylor while also co-parenting with Ryan. I feel pressure because I'm trying to support my son Bentley and do the right thing by him, and I'm learning how to even communicate and have relationship with Ryan at all, the television personality said to us. But then, Taylor is my husband, and he has raised Bentley with me, so there's just a lot of temperature checking that goes on. In an effort to avoid forgetting to check my own temperature and figure out what my boundaries are, 
as well as what I am okay with, and what I am comfortable with, she made one attempt. It's been a busy time. During the course of the conversation, Taylor made the following statement. You are going to see us probably at a better point in a co-parenting relationship than we had been in as long as we could remember.